again. Today that we're doing an oil cooler on my S550 Mustang. Here's the part number if you want to get it for your 15 plus Ford Mustang GT. Use a 7 millimeter socket and a wrench and remove this underbelly cover. Belly cover. There's also a bunch of these clips underneath. You're just going to take a flat head and you're going to jam it in there. Pop the middle out and then pull the clip out from under. Remove the oil plug and drain all the oil. To get better access to the oil filter housing area, remove these two 7 millimeters over here and this one and this whole piece will come out. There's two more 7 millimeter um, screws on the left and this whole middle piece is actually part of, of this cover. Go ahead, remove the oil filter and drain the rest of the oil out of here because we're going to remove the factory uh, oil air water cooler thing. We're going to remove that junk. Unplug all the lighting plugs from uh, everywhere you can find the plug on the bumper because we're going to be removing the bumper now. Remove the three clips on the inner fender. You're going to push this little tab in and then pull from behind and it should pop out. I already did the ones on the other side, yep. Okay. So you push in the center and then pull it out. And you got one there, one there, and then one in there, in there. Now we have a bunch of clips on this top center piece. We're going to pop these out all the way across. You just take a flat head, you go in the little groove, pop the center up, and then pop the whole thing out. Now remove these 8 millimeter bolts all the way across the front. There's a screw that goes through this hole from the back side here. And it goes through this little point here, which goes through this hole. So if you don't take this out first, you're going to damage your bumper. And to make your life easier, there is a clip straight up. There's a clip on the back of the uh, area behind the wheel. And then there's another clip straight up over here and off to the side. Take those out so you can pull the wheel well down. So you can get a wrench in here and take out that this right here, this little screw. You're going to have one screw on each side. It's a 730 seconds. It's, it's going to be probably covered up with this so you won't see it. So just remember to take that off. Now that we're disconnected on the corners, and we're disconnected all across the top and on the bottom, we should just be able to lift up off these pegs on the front. Slowly. And then move this thing out of the way. We need to get to the radiator hose on this side. So um, let's loosen up this clamp, take the air box top off. That way we can get our arm down in here. We're going to unplug the math sensor. Make your life easier. Use a 10 millimeter to pull out this bolt that puts the air box in. And then uh, you're going to have to wiggle and get this air box out of the way. Now you can get to all the hose crap real easy. We're replacing this coolant hose. So take this clamp off, pull this off to relieve most of the uh, fluid. And then we can work with the, uh, these other lines. Remember before you take this stupid hose off to remove the cap on the top because if there's any pressure at all it's just going to uh, spray it into your mouth into your mouth to get this hose off push up and then you push these little gray tabs together and then you can pull it down you're going to do the same thing with this other hose the same way to disconnect it now we're going to go on top disconnect the upper uh, hose clamp and then we can pull the radiator hose right out of the car. So I was wondering why this thing wouldn't come out and it's because this plastic thing is attached to one of the hoses and that's plugged into the top of this hole here. So get that out. So get that out. Another way to make this easier trying to pull this thing out is uh, to disconnect this side of these small hoses. And that way just pulling everything out will be a lot easier. Everything out will be a lot easier. Use a 14 millimeter Allen, and you're going to stick this in the center of the oil filter screw, and uh, 
remove the stud. Once it's loose, you should be able to take the rest of it by hand. And then this whole little oil cooler deal will just come right off, come right off. So this is the old stock piece of crap. So we're gonna take this off and this is gonna pretty much go in the garbage. Clean the surface now of the block. Use a 25 millimeter. Tighten these fittings into your block. I put a little bit of RTV around the O-ring. And then I use a 27 millimeter socket, tighten down the center, and make the fittings point straight towards the front of the car. This air diverter piece has got to come out and it's just held in with pressing clips. So all we're gonna do is pull down on here and it'll unclip and just do that all the way across and then we're gonna yank this up and then we're gonna yank. If you have a performance pack or maybe it's the 2017s, but these bars here need to come out before you can get this air diverter out because it wraps around these bars. So Mishimoto left out a bunch of important things in their how to get this piece of shit in, right? So in order to get this, you need to pull these side pieces like out of the way like this, and then you feed it up in between at like a 45 this way through the gap here without the weather stripping. Then you can get it in place and then you can push these back where they were and push those clips back in back in. Now that the metal piece has slid back into place, I'm going to put these harness bars back. You're going to grab the long skinny bolts and the spacer that's got a bevel cut on one end. The bevel cut's going to go on top to meet this edge. The flat edge is going to go on here. And then you use a nylon lock nut on the top side. And you're going to do that on both sides. Then you're going to have four here. You got one the short ones. So you're going to feed the short bolt through the bottom, put the nut up here on there 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 and there. Once the hose is in there nice and tight, go ahead and fill the fluid back up. And then we're going to have to top it off once we get it running. Um, so once it's running, It'll suck it through with the pump, get the air pockets out, so that will have to happen later. Top off so far with the factory eight quarts. Obviously it's gonna take more than that because we have a cooler and lines, but let's start with eight. That way there's plenty and we won't cause damage. So we'll do all that while we're running it to get the air out of the coolant. Then uh, once that's done, we'll shut it off, check the oil, and top it off. It off. Now that the hose is in, we can put the air box back, put the air filter back, put the air box lid back on, and plug in the mass airflow sensor. So they sent me the wrong cooler, just like they sent me the H pipe instead of the X pipe. So now I have to wait on that. So I'm sort of putting it half-assed together until I get the other cooler core. I have everything else pretty much done. Um, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the bottom stuff on, and I'm just sort of gonna hang the bumper on it. Um, then I'm just gonna have to wait, wait. Slide in this little piece. Put the two eight millimeter screws on each side, and then one for the oil filter flapper door flapper door. Now that I have the right cooler where it has the one up top here and the one down low on the right, you put the spacers over here uh, in between the plate and the cooler and then run the bolt from the top and um, it has an adjustability front and back so if you have a uh, turbo kit or a supercharger the intercooler and uh, fit in you just move it all the way I'm gonna push mine all the way to the back and now I'm gonna tighten down these two nuts nuts hook up this fitting on the left and run it towards the top and it'll come around 
through in, in here, come around, and then both hoses will come down the right side, and then tighten this one at somewhat of a 45 there. Now that we have it in, take a 26 millimeter or a dash 10 AN specialty wrench and tighten your fittings on both sides. Then take, I use the zip tie to tie the lines here so that they don't just flop around. I use this hole right in here to um, get the lines to there and I'm gonna put another zip tie to the two lines over on that section. Use an eight millimeter socket and once you have this all lined up with the tabs you just tighten them down by hand if you use a drill be super careful because you can crush and mush this whole plastic area here I was storing this corner screw in the fender so I had to unscrew that and then pop this in um, then you can come to this corner tighten this little baby screw then come back and um, put the screw back in the corner of the fender right here that attaches through the loop on the, bun uh, on the bumper and do that on both sides put in all these clips line it all up and then just push down to lock these clips in you're going to use these three clips and you're going to put these Make sure the inside's popped out. And then you're gonna squeeze these into this hole, this hole, and this hole, all in this area. Plug your turning signals and your fog lights back in on both sides now. Don't forget to put the bigger clips down here. There's a clip uh, behind the wheel on the side. Don't forget that one. And then there's one straight above the tire in the middle. Now that everything's in and um, you have everything back together, we can top off the oil. This kit adds about a half a quart of oil total. So I'm gonna add a half a quart right now and then check the fluid level. I'd like to thank Mishimoto for hooking me up with these parts and um, expediting the wrong cooler core that they sent out. Uh, right now they're behind on shipments because they had to shut down their warehouse. Depending on when you're watching this video, that's probably not even a thing for you. So I guess don't even worry about it. Um, but this is a quality product. It all fits great. It all looks great. So go hit them up at Mishimoto.com. Till next time, wrench on. Time wrench on.